Hi, I'm here with two more folk and fairy tales for us to compare and contrast. The first one is a story you've probably heard before, Chicken Little. It's going to be retold by Liza Charlesworth and illustrated by Ian Smith. I want you to pay close attention to the characters in the story. Think about the setting and what events happen in the story. After I read Chicken Little, we'll read Chicken Big and see what's the same, we'll compare, and what's different, we'll contrast. Chicken Little. This is a folk and fairy tale reader. Remember, it says retold by Liza Charlesworth because she wasn't the first one to tell the story. It's been told over and over. Look at Chicken Little. He got hit on the head. Bop! The sky is falling, he said. I must tell the king. So off he went. Chicken Little saw a duck. The sky is falling, he said. Oh no, said the duck. We must tell the king. So off they went. They saw a turkey. The sky is falling, said Chicken Little. Oh no, said the turkey. We must tell the king. So off they went. They saw a fox. The sky is falling, said Chicken Little. Oh no, said the fox. Come in my cave to be safe. Hmm. Look at that fox. Do you think they'll be safe? They went in the cave, but the fox was hungry. He tried to eat them up. Oh no, said Chicken Little. They ran away from the fox. Then they went to see the king. The sky is falling, said Chicken Little. Oh no, said the king, take this. Chicken Little, look at Chicken Little. The sky never heard him again. Bop, look at that picture. Think about why it never heard him again. There are a few questions at the end. One, why did Chicken Little think the sky was falling? There's a clue here. And we can look back to the beginning of the story. There's a clue as well. How did the king help Chicken Little? And finally, Chicken Little was silly. Use three more words to describe him. What other words could you use to describe him? Now let's look at Chicken Big. This time the story is told by Liza Charlesworth and illustrated by Stephen Wood. It's another book published by Scholastic Books. This one is a fractured fairy tale because things have been changed so much in it. It's called Fractured. This is a story about a big chicken. He was so big that everyone called him Chicken Big. Look at the illustration. Look for clues that show you how big Chicken Big actually is. One day, Chicken Big went for a walk in the country. Cluck, cluck, cluck. Boink, boink, boink. Three apples fell on his head. But Chicken Big did not see the apples. He thought the sky was falling. Silly bird. Oh no, the sky. The sky is falling, said Chicken Big. I need to tell the queen. So off he went. Cluck, cluck, cluck. By and by, he saw a duck. Where are you going? asked Duck. 
I need to tell the queen that the sky is falling, said Chicken Big. Oh my, I want to go too, said Duck. So off they went to tell the queen. Cluck, quack. By and by, they saw Turkey. Where are you going? asked Turkey. The sky is falling, said Chicken Big. We need to tell the queen. Oops, wrong voice. We need to tell the queen, said Duck. Oh my, said Turkey, I want to go too. So off they went to tell the queen. Cluck, quack, gobble. By and by they saw Snake. S where are you going? asked Snake. The, the sky is falling, said Chicken Big. We need to tell the queen, said Turkey. S said Snake, sounds like an important job. Come to my cave. I will make supper before you go. Yum, 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 said the birds. They went to Snake's cave. It had a small door. But Chicken Big squeezed in. Snake put a pot on the fire. What is for supper? they asked. Soup, said Snake. Duck and turkey and chicken soup. Oh no, Snake wanted to eat them. The birds jumped up and ran. But Chicken Big got stuck in the door. Duck pulled, turkey pulled, pop, out came Chicken Big. The birds ran and ran. They ran away from snake, cluck, quack, gobble. Snake was sneaky, said Duck. Yes, he was, said Turkey. Let's hurry. We still need to see the queen, said Chicken Big. At last, the birds got to the castle. Good news. It had a very big door. Chicken Big could go inside. They went into a fancy room. It had a gold throne. On the throne sat the queen. I have big news, said Chicken Big. The sky is falling. How do you know? asked the queen. It hit me on the head, he said when I was walking under an apple tree. Oh my, said the queen. I think I understand. She thought and thought. Then she had a great idea. The queen went to the closet and took out a gigantic hat. This used to belong to my friend. A very big friend, she said. It will keep you safe from the falling sky, said the queen. Thank you, said Chicken Big. Chicken Big put on the hat. Then the three birds walked all the way home. Did they see Snake? No. Did they feel... Falling sky? No. Life is good, said Duck. Yes, this hat keeps us safe from the falling sky, said Turkey. Bonk, bonk, 
bonk. And for some reason, said Chicken Pig, there are always lots of apples for us to munch. Crunch, crunch, crunch. So we have the words castle, gigantic, and throne in our glossary at the back, if you weren't sure what they mean. There are three questions for you to think about. Why did Chicken Big think the sky was falling? Hmm, was it the same as in Chicken Little? Similar? Two, what was the real reason Snake invited the birds into his cave? Three, how did the gigantic hat help Chicken Big and his bird friends stay safe? So I want you to think about the two stories now. Compare them. What was the same in the books? Was there anything the same about the characters? Was there anything the same about the setting? How about the events? Can you think of any ways they were alike? Now contrast the two stories. Tell someone ways that the characters were different. Tell them some ways that the setting was different if it was, and if any of the events were different, talk about how those were different. Go ahead, compare and contrast these two stories.